Hey everyone, David here with another standardization tip for Windows sysadmins. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, a little known program called BG Info. And um, basically, what BG Info does or can do is display the system information like system name, IP address, uh, free space, hard drive space, stuff like that on the background of the current user that's logged into um, the server. This is useful if you have a number of different servers um, and you want to be able to know which one you're working on right away, especially if you do a lot of remote sy system administration. It's nice to know what server you're connected to um, just by looking at the system's background. Um, I usually have like three or four RDP sessions going on at the same time, so um, it can get confusing and you certainly don't want to reboot the wrong server at the wrong time. You have a whole bunch of people jumping on your on your back if that happens, so this is one way to avoid that. So here I have uh, my virtual proving ground uh, running on VirtualBox. Um, basically it's just a number of different servers that are running on uh, as virtual machines on my computer. Um, and VirtualBox, and here is a 2012 member server and a 2012 domain controller. Um, and both of these servers what what I want to do is have the uh, background BG Info program launch and um, configure the background with all the information about each particular server in a certain way, but have it done via group policy on all my servers. I could also expand this to include workstations, but for right now I'm just going to concentrate on servers because that's what I mostly spend a lot of time uh, remote administering, uh, administering. So here's how to do it. Essentially, before I get into how to push uh, BG Info using a group policy object, I'm going to quickly talk about how it works. Uh, that way, you'll have a better understanding of how the software works itself and um, how to basically push it using uh, GPO. So, I've got uh, BG Info downloaded to my computer um, in a um, shared folder called BG Info and um, Deployments. Deployments is basically a folder I use to push a bunch of stuff out to different workstations in my virtual environment. Um, but BG Info is basically um, it's a small program available from Sys Internals. Uh, you can download it. Um, it's been around for a long time. It's 800 kilobytes, and it basically, when you launch it, what it does is it allows you to take a bunch of information and display it on your system's background. So if I just took the defaults, opened the program. Um, this is what it would look like. It would tell me, you know, uh, my system name and the CPU type and uh, IP address, gateway, subnet mask, all that information. And it would just basically create a background um, BMP file, bitmap file, uh, and apply that to the current system so that when I logged into it, I would see all this information and know which system I'm working on. Great! So um, I've already customized this to suit my needs because I don't like this default. Way it looks. I've created a BG info file called vlmeta.bgi. Um, basically, by taking this default, mucking around with it until I like the way it looks by you know changing the fonts and moving things around a bit, and then clicking on File Save As and saving the resultant file as uh, vlmeta.bgi. So I'm going to open that file and show you what it looks like. So um, here is my um, the file that I like to see on most of my servers. Um, and uh, this is the file that we're going to be pushing out to all of our different servers. So it's nice because it has all my information that I want to see right at the top in large, bold, red letters. Um, so I know that I'm now connected to my domain controller. It's running 2008 server, R2, service pack 1 with 2, two gigs of RAM. C drive is 45 gigs. The S drive is 10 gigs. Um, you know, last time it was rebooted. Um, what the roles of the server are, the IP address, and all the information. So this is really nice to have, and um, I like to see it on all my servers. So here is how we're going to apply this um, particular um, background information file to all of our servers using a group policy object. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and set my screen um, display parameters back to a blank desktop background, just so um, we can make sure that it works properly. I'm going to go back to, um, I don't even know how to do it, display, change this to background, uh, solid colors, there we go. And 
There we go. Now we change our desktop background to just a blank desktop background. And we're going to go ahead and work on creating a group policy object that will go ahead and push BG info, including the settings file that we will have already created, to um, a bunch of servers. Uh, anything really in an uh, organizational unit or in a number of organizations, however you want to deal with this, it's really up to you. First thing we're going to do is going to create a group policy object that's um, in my case, I, I've created it as a computer-based policy, but you can create it as a user policy, whatever you want. Um, I denote my group policy objects with C or U, depending on whether they're computer or user-based. Um, and uh, in this case, I've created a uh, computer-based group policy object named Server Desktop BG Info. All right, I'm going to edit that, and I'm going to go and go into Group Policy Preferences because that's where I do a lot of uh, work. I have a nice high-level domain, so Group Policy Preferences is my friend. I can do a lot of stuff without having to do a whole lot of work. And I'm going to go ahead and create first the folder structure um, that I want to have in uh, this area on the local drive. The reason why I do this is because when I try to launch this, if I try to deploy this with just shortcuts to the network share, so uh, right now on my domain controller I've got deployments as a network share, right? so if I go DC slash deployments, um, I can access my BG info file, but if I just push that, you know, shortcuts to this file to other machines, I'm going to get a permissions error whenever I execute this file. And that's just because of the nature of 2012 and 2008 R2 server and security uh, principles and things like that. So really to get around that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this entire structure you see here to the C drives of all my servers um, using a group policy object. That way I won't have to deal with security permission issues that come up um, when I try to launch a file from the network. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and create some folders first. I'm going to create the folder structure on the C drive in a folder called Apps, because in a folder called Apps is where I put a lot of stuff that are kind of useful to me. Um, and uh, I'll first create a folder called Apps, then a folder called BG Info Inside Apps, and then a folder called Scripts Inside BG Info Inside Apps, and a folder Settings Inside BG Info Inside Apps. The settings folder will, call, will contain my BGI file, and the scripts folder will contain a VBS file that is used by BG Info to um, look up all the information that's going to be displayed in the background. Alright, so here's my folder structure. I'm going to create some files, basically pop, populate the folder structure um, from my network share. Now, on my network share, I already have the entire folder structure, but uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and copy those files to the lo local folder structure I'm creating. So basically I'm going to copy the BG Info exe file inside apps BG Info. I'm going to copy the network VBS file inside the scripts folder on the local drive and the BGI file inside the settings folder. So that should create a nice local folder structure called apps and inside apps should be a folder called BG Info with an exe file and uh, these two subfolders with the corresponding files. So that really is all I need for um, BG Info to work on my two servers. Um, however, I want BG Info to also be automatically launched when the user logs in. So I don't want it just to have this be created and have to have a user go into C apps and double click BG Info to display this stuff on the background. I want that to automatically happen as soon as the user logs in without any other interaction. That way the user sees right away what server he's connected to and there can be no confusion about what server he's actually performing work on. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and create a shortcut. I'm going to create this shortcut in the common startup directory um, of the particular server the group policy object runs on. So I'm going to create a shortcut and name it BG Info. The action is going to be update, um, which will basically create the object if it doesn't exist, but update the object if it does exist, which is useful to me. I'm going to choose the target path to be the, um, the path that I created using the folders and files using the same group policy object here. Um, basically, I'm going to point it to cappsbginfo, beginfo.exe. I'm going to have in the arguments, um, I'm going to call my settings file. And I'm also going to pass some parameters that will basically say, um, don't launch the GUI of bginfo. Um, disable the timer and set it to zero, or, or, or just set the timer to zero, and uh, accept the uh, license prompt that usually pops up the first time you launch BG Info. 
um, or don't display the license plate. So those three parameters I'm going to pass in addition to the settings file. So what that will do is it will go ahead and have my nice wet red customized background um, displayed automatically when the user logs in. All right, perfect. So that is what I need. I'm going to have all this information enough, you know, in text on my website for you as well, so you can just copy and paste from there. Perfect. So now we have our group policy object defined. I'm going to go ahead and close this and close that um, and uh, give it a test. So basically, I've got my group policy object created. I'm going to go ahead and link it to um, the only organizational unit that um, contains member servers um, and my domain controllers organizational unit. So this basically contains the current server that we're working on, DC1. Um, this OU contains um, the other server that we're going to be working on, my 2012 server. Uh, I use this server for a number of different things, but uh, yeah, um, we're just going to use it in a test scenario here to make sure that our group policy object works. And um, so. I'm going to link the, uh, the group policy objects I've created in both of these organizational units. And then I'm going to run um, GP update just to make sure that everything is pushed. Um, so I'm going to run that now. GP slash force. And uh, let that go. So what this is going to do is going to go ahead and uh, apply the group policy object we've just created to any organizational units and any computers in those organizational units. So it should basically apply to this computer here, DC1, and 2K12, which is my 2012 server. Um, so, uh, all right, now that's done. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my local structure has been created. So on my DC computer, I'm going to go ahead and look at the local C drive. And voila, there's our apps folder, and it contains a BG info folder. And looks like our files have copied successfully, so that's good. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and test to make sure it works. I'm going to log off as the administrator and then uh, log back in. And hopefully what will happen is that I'll get a desktop with my BG info. And voila, there it is. So um, it is basically created the local structure for the BG info executables and it has created a system startup shortcut. So if I look under uh, my startup, there should be a new file here. Oh, perfect, there it is. Um, called BG info and that file um, should have uh, my settings file so it'll go to BG info and my settings um, and I'll have the parameters that I defined so perfect this is working just like I want it to so um, let's go ahead and make sure it works on other servers so on this server um, Basically, what I'll have to do here as well, I also have to do a GP update to make sure. I can reboot the server as well, um, but I want to just test this right away without waiting for it to reboot. So I'm going to do a GP update force and then log off and log back in, and it should get me in my background. GP update slash force. <clears throat> so this should go ahead and create all the um, directory structure that we need here. I want to go to my C drive and make sure. Yep, BG info settings, looks like everything is created. Perfect. Um, let's go ahead and make sure our startup entry is created. The startup, yep, there's our BG info. Perfect. So that's all there. All right, well, let's go ahead and try this out. Uh, log off and log back in. And make sure that my BG info gets pushed. All right, here we go. System's logging in. And, uh, come on. Still working on something here. Oh, there it is. So there is my BG info for this particular server. It looks like it's just a little bit slower booting or logging in than the other server. But uh, here is my information. So I have all that stuff about when the server was last rebooted and what roles it has. Um, so perfect. I like it. Uh, one thing that I did notice that um, it's not quite as good as determining the roles. This server here actually is a Windows deployment server. Um, so for some reason it looks like that role is not shown here. So don't know what's up with that, but um, you know there are newer versions of BG Info available than uh, the one that I'm using here. So uh, that is very likely the cause. But uh, yeah, so there you have it within a nutshell, how to get your 
servers to run uh, PG info to display all the information you really want to see on the desktop background of your server or servers. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye.